on my way to the scrapyard, and as you can see, minus one degrees. I guess I ain't gonna warm up much today. Let's see what the day brings. I made it to the scrapyard. Still minus one out. Nobody here. What's my weight? Yeah, you probably can't see that, but it's 12,200. Wait for the green light. All right, so let's see. What do you, what do you think this load's gonna pay today? Filing cabinet, appliances in the back, refrigerators, freezers, boiler, water heaters. Stacked all the way to the end again. Stacked up, ready to go. Be dumping it off here soon. What do you think it's gonna weigh? Let's see what we get paid today. All right, we're done unloading. Let's go back across the scale. Look, make sure I can hit anything. What's our weight? Looks like 8480. So we had just shy of 4,000 pounds on. So we'll see what it weighs up to, or what it pays out to, I mean. So, you know, I post these videos for informational purposes of how to make money if you need to. Um, this was the load, it was 3,740 pounds, and it was a, a 290. Two dollars for gross ton, which is three hundred and twenty dollars. As you can see, three hundred and twenty dollars, everything. You know, and you know, I post these because um, I post these videos because you know people don't understand how much work goes into doing scrap metal. They think, oh, you're gonna make a bunch of money. Yeah, you make good money, but the thing is, is you know, you have to work for it. I mean, I spent a lot of money in fuel and and um maintenance on my trucks and everything and i make really good money but you don't do that all the time most people you know you're lucky to grab a couple pieces of metal here or there you know up by where i live there's no garbage pickup you have to pay for your garbage pickup so what happens is is people uh, are just happy to get rid of stuff without you know paying for it so how when i started this business what i did was i um you know, I was on Facebook and all like the seller swaps posting, hey, I do free scrap removal. If you have it, I'll come pick it up for free. Or you can give me a tip, you know, five, ten bucks to um, to help, you know, with the gas and stuff. And people were happy because the garbage companies didn't want to be bothered. And nobody could really find anybody who was, you know, answer their phone and actually get the stuff. So I started, you know, 25 years now I've been doing this. And, you know, I have, I don't even advertise anymore. Uh, all my business is word of mouth. Um, I have three to 400 new customers, three to 400 new customers, um, a year. And I have repeat customers and I have plumbing and heating, and HVAC and garages and, you know, people, real estates, I do house cleanouts and stuff. And, you know, I've been successful and I've made money and I post these videos. People are like, Oh, why don't you get a real job? Well, you know what? I could do that, but I'm a high school dropout. You know, I only have my hardworking ability and I've worked for people. I've worked for a garbage company, I worked for, you know, plumbing heat guys, landscape guys, tree work, I did tree work for years, sold firewood. And the thing I realized was, you know, there, I was doing, I was working and busting my butt for people and they're paying me $12, $15 an hour. You know, I was working landscape for guys paying me a thousand a week. I, he, I was paying me a thousand a week. I was running his company and he was making 50, 60,000 a month. And it didn't seem right to me. It did not seem fair. And like, I wasn't greedy, but you know, he was making the money. But like, I said, you know, I could do the same thing. I have a pickup truck. I could do the same thing for people I know and everything. And, and I could start doing it myself. And that's exactly what I did. You know, um, at least with scrap metal, if you're down on your luck, you need a couple bucks, you know, oh man, you know, 
I, I'm not making enough, but I got child support. And there's a lot of guys that do this on the side for extra cash because they're on fixed income, social security and stuff. And you could drive around and pick stuff up and, you know, just the people you know, just start asking, hey, man, you got any scrap metal? You know anybody who's got scrap metal? And it, the word of mouth goes around. There's a lot of us out here, but there's a lot of guys that don't answer their phone. That's the other thing. You've got to answer your phone. you got to be proactive. Call people back. Text people back. People message you on Facebook. I don't care if it's 12 o'clock at night. Message back. Yeah, give me your address. Let me know. We'll schedule, we'll, we'll schedule a pickup. You know, all that stuff. So, you know, just you're doing it for yourself. You know, you're not doing it for anybody else. You know. And like I said, I made three hundred and three was three hundred twenty dollars in the past two days. I mean, it was cold today. It was it was minus ten out today, and I was out here working. And I don't care if it's raining, if it's snowing, uh, if it's thundering, lightning. I don't care if it's nine o'clock at night. I'm still out picking stuff up. It does not matter. And once you get a good business report, and people can count on you. Like I have a Facebook, um, I have a Facebook uh, thread that's going from one of the seller swap groups for six years. And I was telling the people, oh, if, if I picked up and I was reliable, comment, oh, that guy Mike, he was there, yeah, he picked the stuff up, yeah, he was good, just call him, text him anytime, you know, great to work with. It's been going for five years. There's over seven hundred comments of happy customers and people and then people see that when you google my name i mean you can see it on the receipt if you google my name and you look and you're like oh my god people are like oh i found you on google how'd you find me on google oh your facebook popped up what because the algorithm had hit so i post these videos to really like educate people and stuff and i don't go into too much details like explaining what the metals are and stuff because i found out people just don't care it's metal you know cut the copper off cut the cords off you know just know what you have you know when you throw it off and you know like i said you're out here hustling for yourself you make yourself money make yourself great you work for a company you work for somebody you know getting stupid money i know i know a guy that works at mcdonald's and he gets 13 dollars an hour at night and then scraps all day you know what i mean he makes three four hundred dollars every couple of days extra cash he told me he's like i make more scrapping than i do here but i need something for child support you know so there's a lot of guys out there and you know if you're down on your luck it's something you know you, you can make money quick just don't don't get greedy don't steal always call ask people knock on people's doors people worst thing you can do is tell you to go screw yourself which that happens daily anyway so um you know people really don't understand how much work it is but there is money to be made you know, so, I mean, I'm, I'm here sweating and it's 10 degrees out. So, um, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. I'm going to be posting more videos. I know my channel's been a little bit up and down and I do car review videos and scrap metal and stuff. But that's why my uh, name is Adventures with Mike because it's always an adventure every day. So, like I said, you know, hit the bell icon so you can get notifications uh, when I post a new video. Um, I got a bunch of stuff planned this summer. I'm going to start doing it more, but... um yeah let me know if i'm doing good or if i suck i mean either way i mean i i i talk to everybody and i answer as many comments as i can but um if you have any questions let me know you know and i'll see if i can help you out i mean that's why my channel is here i mean well i, I work too much anyway i don't really have many friends so all right guys i'm gonna sign off i'll see you guys later and remember to remember always be closing always be hustling that's what it is I'll talk to you guys later. Don't worry, young prince. See, the crows have never tasted prince before. I'm coming for you. <laughs>